Hi Aquarius, I'm Jennifer. I'm going to do your reading for November. Find out what messages spirits have for you. What does Aquarius need to know? One more shuffle. Okay, the first thing we have is the Eight of Pentacles. Um, I see you here focused on work. There's something here that you're working on, Aquarius. I'm going to go back and clarify the cards after I get everything laid out. And then I have the Hermit Virgo energy. You could be keeping to yourself, going within for answers. the tower so there's going to be a sudden shocking change if this hasn't happened right yet there's shocking news here and then i have the six of pentacles it's like you are working a lot and focused on your money i feel like but you're having to give a lot you have people asking you for help I feel like in the center of the reading we have Taurus energy with the Hierophant this is some type of commitment something you're committed to and then I have strength which is Leo energy falling right underneath the tower you're having a lot of inner strength and the moon is here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. It says things that you're not, that you may be missing, that you're not seeing clearly. The chariot is here, Cancer energy. It's like you're, you're really trying to take control of something in your life. I see you moving forward very quickly, but I don't think you see this. This is Taurus energy again, the Empress, but there's a lot of growth. Let's clarify this. I feel like whatever you're working on, on here is going to be a lot more than what you're expecting. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here, Spirit? Yeah, there's something that you're manifesting, Aquarius. I'm seeing you. This could have something to do with the internet, but there's something here that you're manifesting. You're like, I feel like almost magic, like trying to get some type of a word out. I see the initial A, if that means anything to anybody. But you have everything you need to accomplish, whatever this is that I really see you working on here, focused on. And then we have the Hermit right here. It's like you're being guided by a wish. Why is the Hermit here? the world the fool the high priestess the four of cups is on the bottom of the deck I'm not sure why this is showing up yet but be careful because I'm seeing like there could be a missed opportunity. I, 
I have Pisces energy here with the High Priestess. You're doing something. You're taking a leap of faith. And I really feel like it has something to do with the internet. I have the world here. Using your intuition. And then we have the tower. You're very intuitive and you're using your intuition. Why is the tower here? The king of swords. The lovers and the ace of swords. You could have an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in your energy. There, there could be um, some type of truth spoken. I have the lovers and the king of swords. There's something here, some type of truth being spoken when it comes to a connection with someone. The Ace of Swords is here. There's truth. Someone's making a decision to speak truth. And I feel like it, it causes this tower moment. I'm seeing success, victory, and whatever this is that you're working on. What is this truth? Seven of Pentacles. Something that you're waiting for. This could this could be a legal matter or a divorce that you're going through right here. But there's something that you've been waiting for where it's a win-win situation. You have this. It's success, victory. And things will start moving very quickly. Once things start going, I feel like you're waiting right now, but once things start going, they're going to move very quickly for you. Like almost hard to keep up with. The Six of Pentacles is here. So there's something about giving to other people. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Yeah, whatever you're doing, because I really feel like you're working really hard. You're you're very like tired, but don't give up. Keep going, Aquarius. You're almost there. Keep going. You're almost there. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. This is blessings. Um, I feel like there, there's unexpected money with the Ten of Pentacles. There could be new love coming into your life. But there's Something here, like some type of gain for you that is going to be more than what you're expecting with whatever this is that you're working on. And the center card of your reading is the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? You could be getting a raise at work. Yeah, something, this wheel of fortune is turning in your favor and you're not seeing it right now. There's a wish fulfillment. And then we have the emperor, the devil, and the king of pentacles. You're either moving up in a company or a job or... um. 
starting up your own business. The devil, you could be dealing with a Capricorn in Aries or Taurus, Virgo. I'm going to clarify the devil. I'm not understanding why we have the devil here. There could be someone controlling here. Why is the devil here? Judgment. Okay. Pretty um, strong energy here. Why is the devil in judgment here? What is this? Devil in judgment. There could be someone, you know, like I'm seeing there's a great possibility of a divorce or something up here. But I'm seeing you making a decision here to heal over a person. It's like you don't want to fight with this person anymore. I feel like they're controlling. They could have some addictions. But I feel like you're 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 moving away from this person. Yeah, you're making a decision and turning this wheel of fortune by yourself. It's taking a lot of strength, a lot of courage, because the devil energy can be someone that we feel very attached to, that we have a hard time releasing. And then the moon is here. Why is the moon here? Wow. Okay, so you're... Um, I feel like, you know, right here with the moon, it's things that you're not seeing. You can kind of see it's like looking through water, though. There's there's a lot that that you feel like you need to find out or that you, you're not seeing. The hangman is on the bottom of the deck, which is taking a break, taking a time out, looking at the bigger picture before just jumping into something. There's someone that's really recognizing you with the Six of Wands. And I feel like love is showing up in your life. But you may not be interested in love right now for some of you. Because there's love showing up right here. But someone's refusing this cup. I feel like you're just, you're focused on this. There's success and victory coming into your life. Let me find out why the Four of Cups is here. Because I'm seeing a new person here, but there's ignoring it, not wanting it. Why is the Four of Cups here? Yeah, you're working on your stability, your money, um, a wish fulfillment for you. And 11-11, you're on the right path. Yeah, I see you healing, and it's like um, there is someone that you're not seeing, Aquarius, that is feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of regret, and this I feel like this is someone from your past, someone who could have been a player, someone with a very fiery type personality. I'm not sure how to explain it. This could be someone that you lived with or were married to. Okay. 
Let's find out why the chariot is here because I'm seeing you taking control moving forward. It's like taking control of your life. You're making a strong judgment call. It's right in the center of your reading. Why is the chariot here? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, there's... I feel like you're good, Aquarius. It's like you're staying in control of your emotions. You're taking care of yourself, um, what you need to take care of. I'm seeing you very tired here, but it's going to pay off. Don't give up. Keep going. But um, there's, there's a connection here that could possibly be an ex, but there's someone fighting an inner battle, someone who's wanting to send you a message of love, but there's like an inner battle over this. This is someone who's very attracted to you. Why is the Empress here? I feel like you're closed off. You've started a new journey. Yeah, you're, you're healing and you're kind of guarded up. It's like you're putting the past behind you, looking out into your future and um, working on your stability. And right here, I'm seeing you protecting this. The Ten of Cups, and the way I was just looking at this card, it's like you're being very protective of your happiness here. This is, this is being defensive, and you're protecting your happiness. Hold on. Why I was getting that. I feel like you know what you want here. like you're starting down a new path even though the two of swords is blindfolded trying to you know not really making a decision there could be like a there's a new start here for you that you may be not going completely after it something that you don't realize is going to bring in a lot of growth into your life. This can be material gain. So you're kind of holding back a bit and feeling kind of defensive, guarded. Why is the Empress here? Yeah, you could have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, there's someone that you have a lot of love for. I feel like this Queen of Cups is you, male or female. But your energy is very powerful, Aquarius. There's someone here... Um, that you're leaving out in the cold. Someone who betrayed you they were lying cheating or stealing there was a painful ending you're leaving this person out in the cold they show up as the knight of wands so this could be in aries leo or sagittarius but they're it's like they just come in and out of your life they're controlling they're stopping your blessings holding you up is what i feel like Okay, so let me grab you a couple of Oracle cards. What does Aquarius need to know of spirits? I 
I am becoming a better person. I feel like that this is something that this person wants to tell you. Because I'm seeing you working on yourself and I feel like this person can feel that. It was my fault, but I blamed you. And let's get one more. What does Aquarius need to know about this person? I know that I crossed the line with you. And on the bottom of the deck, I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay, Aquarius, so these are the messages spirits have for you. I hope they help and um, bring you clarification. And I send you lots of love and light, Aquarius. Namaste.